We talked about this at length on Sundays with subscribers this week. If you are interested in this issue of harassment and intimidation of signature gatherers and the lengths that the Democratic Party, the ACLU, progressive groups are going to to try to thwart this initiative uh, effort, Go watch our Sunday show from yesterday because what we talked about is we went into detail with documentation how some of what's going on is rising past the level of just um, the kind of occasional harassment. Uh, you know, Democrats sending out uh, their minions to harass and intimidate signature gatherers. There is this crazy effort going on right now to actually try to poach through bribery some of these paid signature gatherers to leave the state of Washington until the end of the year. There's, there's evidence of this. I, I'm not making that up. It sounds crazy, but there's a lot of money going into trying to say, OK, they've got these paid signature gatherers. How can we stop them from collecting signatures? Well, let's offer them money to leave the state until the new year. So on uh, December 14th, uh, former uh, Attorney General Rob McKenna, who now is in private practice, he wrote on behalf of Let's Go Washington a cease and desist letter to the SEIU 775, which is the uh, Union for Home Health Care Workers, which has been spending like a quarter million dollars to push back against the initiative effort, also sent the cease and desist to Fuse Washington and Fields Work, Field Works, which is a Washington, D.C.-based political group. And they detailed some of these harassment and intimidation efforts that are going on and basically said, hey, we think this is illegal. We want you to cease and desist. And if you don't, we might sue you. So that's happening in the background. But then Let's Go Washington provided us with um, pictures of flyers, some text messages that they'd received from these paid signature gatherers who are all sharing a similar story where they'll have individuals come up to them, give them a flyer saying, hey, if you go to Florida, Florida, until the end of the year, until December 29th, We'll pay you thousands of dollars. We'll cover your travel expenses, your lodging expenses, your rental car expenses, and we'll pay you thousands of dollars to help us sign people up for health insurance plans in Florida. So basically making them glorified like phone, what do you call phone, telemarketers kind of, but they have to go to Florida to do it. And Let's Go Washington sent us a couple things as evidence of this because they had several signature gatherers who took these people up on that offer like oh i could go to florida instead of being here in washington collecting signatures and you're going to pay me thousands of dollars and you're going to cover my travel expenses so one of the paid signature gatherers who agreed to leave sent let's go washington essentially the um agreement that they signed to do this and they also sent let's go washington proof of the bank transaction where this entity paid them $3,500. So Nicole, if you could bring this up. So the agent agreement, it basically lays out the terms of, hey, you're going to help us collect uh, or get people to sign up for health insurance um, for a company down in Florida. Uh, we're gonna pay you, you know, up to $4,000, depending on how many valid and payable applications that you can collect. And then it says this, duration of stay. Agent is expected to participate from their date of arrival through December 29th, 2023, in order to be eligible for a payment of $5,000. Think about that. December 29th, 2023. That would be when the initiative gathering, the signature gathering is no longer happening in Washington State. You guys, think about this. This is crazy stuff. I mean, this is bribery, right? So you have these progressive groups that are spending money to bribe paid signature gatherers for thousands of dollars to send them to Florida until December 29th, 2023. One thing I thought was interesting, the Seattle Times did a story on some of these, um, the allegations of harassment and intimidation against the Let's Go Washington initiatives. And they said this, they wrote this about SEIU, the Union 775. It says recent campaign filings show SEIU 775 paid a quarter million dollars between November 21st and November 30th to two out-of-state political firms, including Fieldworks, for consulting and other work in opposition to the initiatives. But here's the kicker. Adam Glickman, SEIU 775's secretary treasurer, declined an interview request. In an email, he also would not comment on whether the union was funding incentive payments for signature gatherers to leave Washington State. Hmm. SEIU 775 won't 
confirm or deny that they are spending money on these bribery payments to get paid signature gatherers out of Washington? If you're not doing it, that's easy, right? You've already been communicating with Jim Bruner of the Seattle Times. If, if you weren't doing that, you would tell him you weren't doing that, right? And what does SEIU 775 have to gain? Well, again, they're a union of home health care workers. What does one of the initiatives entail? It would make the long-term care tax optional. And if it's made optional, the program will immediately be insolvent. And they know that. So this is, again, about all the, the uh, money that is going to come in from some of these taxes that the initiatives are trying to repeal. So now you've got this union, which, in my opinion, based on the evidence, is trying to bribe paid signature gatherers to leave the state so they can keep taxing you for something you don't even want. 